All right, so today we're going to use the keep change change method to learn about subtracting. So on the right, we have the keep change change, but on the left, we have the add the opposite method. Now, I noticed that there was a lot of discrepancy when people said add the opposite because they understand they have to change the negative, but sometimes they forget that to change the sign of the second number because you're adding the opposite. And the opposite of negative 3 is going to be a positive 3. So some people feel that they don't quite have this. They have this part where they change that, but they forget to change this. They just remember to add the opposite, and they forget to do the opposite part. The method I like is the keep change change method. You keep the first sign, you change the second sign, and you change the third sign. So let's rewrite it right here. You keep 4, you change that from a subtract to the opposite, which is adding, and you change this right here to the opposite. So if it's negative 3, it's going to be a positive 3. And then, now you can just add like you normally did. 4 plus 3. 4 good guys and 3 good guys get together, so the answer is going to be 7. Let's show a couple of examples. Here's 10 minus tw negative 12. Using the KCC method, or the keep change change method, we keep the first number, which is 10, so it stays the same. The C changes the minus to a plus, and the negative 12, since there's a C under it, to change it, changes from a negative 12 to a positive 12. 10 good guys plus 12 good guys is going to equal 22 good guys. I'll show a negative example. Here's negative 7 minus 1. Using the KCC method, we change the last two, but we keep the first. So the negative 7 stays a negative 7. The subtract turns into a plus, and the 1 turns into a negative 1. Now, some people, when they add the opposite, they're going to change this one, subtract to a plus, but they're not going to change this 1 into a negative 1 because they see that there's a negative sign right here. So sometimes they forget about this part. This is the tricky part. So when we have 7 bad guys and 1 bad guy and they get together, we're going to have 8 bad guys. We're going to use some more advanced subtracting in the next lesson.